Do you know the things that constitute potential threats to crops? Harsh weather, insects, pests and what else? Weeds. That's right. Weeds are harmful plants that grow alongside the crops. Why are weeds considered to be a threat? It's because these plants too have roots which take up the nutrients from the soil and they compete for sunlight and water. This could seriously damage the crops, leaving them with little or no nutrients at all. So, how do farmers get rid of these plants? Farmers usually remove all weeds in the initial stage of soil preparation. While tilling the soil, almost all weeds are uprooted and their remains serve as humus to the soil. However, if these weeds grow after the crop is sown, they need to be removed manually. This can be done with bare hands or with medicines which kill these plants. Wait, what do I mean by medicines? Won't these medicines damage the crop? Well, these are known as weedy sites and are designed to only kill weeds. These chemicals are diluted using water and then spread over the farms. Farmers also use implements like a kurpi or a seed drill to uproot weeds. Now tell me, can weeds be removed anytime? Or should we destroy them before a particular time? Yes, weeds should be uprooted before they produce flowers and seeds. Weedy sites too should be sprayed before they flower. But extreme caution must be maintained while spraying these chemicals. Can you guess why? Well, these chemicals can prove harmful even to the farmers. And that is why you see farmers covering their nose and mouths with a piece of cloth while spraying these chemicals. Now that you've studied about crop protection against weeds, let us study the second last stage of crop production. The stage where the crop has matured after a span of 3 to 4 months. It's the harvest time. And what does it exactly mean? Harvest the crop simply means to cut the crop after it has matured. Do you think it's as easy as it sounds? Of course not. Harvesting of crops, if done manually, is done with a sickle. If a machine is used to harvest crops, it is usually the harvester. Crops are either pulled out or cut close to the ground. Once the crop is harvested, it needs to be threshed. What do I mean by threshed? The grains need to be separated from the stalks. Threshing is the next step after harvesting and is carried out manually. However, even machines called threshers are employed for this nowadays. In certain cases, farmers use a combination of harvester and thresher, a machine called combine. The machinery can carry out the process of harvesting and threshing together. Threshing is usually the beating of stalks on a surface that separates the grains from the stalks. Now the grains have yet another covering before they can be finally stored. That is the chaff. Chaff is then separated by a process called winnowing. In this process, small farmers manually separate the chaff from grains with the help of the wind. Grains are dropped down from a height and the wind carries away the chaff while the grains, being heavier, get collected into a heap. So, with the three processes of harvesting, threshing and winnowing, grains are now ready for storage. Do you think storage of grains involves a lot of work? We will soon find that out in our next video.